Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hey everybody, it's Meepo and Silver Spoon. And this is the third game of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. The part of the game five is now coming into the line as we see the Jets face on against the Avalanche. Last game was the Dallas Stars and they finally are moving on to face against the winning team between here or there, from second seed or the third seed. Now this matchup is going to take a little bit of the time because there is going to be a lot of takeovers right in between. But we'll have to find out who will make the win right in between. Now this is it. A win or go home for the Colorado Avalanche. If they don't win, that means they will be eliminated and this will be the first loss of the postseason and eliminated in the game to face against the Jets. If the Jets didn't make the win, then the Avalanche will survive and will head on to clutch into Game 6. Now let's get this thing rolling. Standing by, I have is Terry Crews, and he's also along with Lightbulb. And Fan is the center ice for the tonight's commentary of the game. We'll see you all later for the final statics and three star players of the game. It's all coming right here after this game. See you later, everybody. Off to Mile High. It's Colorado and the Jets. Ready to start with its me rematch at Ball Arena. Hi everybody, it's Terry Cruz, and I am here with my broadcasting partner with Lightbulb and Sarah Ice is fan. This is it. Winner go home for the Avalanche. We start things off now. And here we go. Last in the group between Nigeria and Helena. Here's a start as Shifeli with the puck. Right toward the right wing, now finding a little look in the offense. Finds Carlson. Corner shot stopped made by Ajuria. McKenna finds Rantanen. Rantanen on his way down, right toward the middle, looking for some open slot. Big stop on the path by Connor Hellman. And this one was blocked up, and Kyle Connor will have it over. To the right wing, shot stopped made by Ajuria. His way down, trying to look for some more room in for the outside. He looks over to get Morrissey. Morsey kicks the puck, he stays out. Now McKinnon will have it over as McCarr will have it out. Look again to Toes. Toes. Over to Murphy and a shot. Big save by Alaba. You know, when the pass over comes in angle, and this is what they always expected because the Connor Alaba, he's really like getting to an open look. That feed off is what they all expected. They have to maintain it if they can find another way to have more room open. Now the win for out in Colorado. Big stop by Hellebuck. No penalty on the call, and there's a signal. They're calling it a cross-checking. Oh, yes, they are. It looks like they are doing it. That's what happens. Miles Wood had a little bit of trouble start here after the face-off win. He's not happy at all. First penalty kill called on the Colorado Avalanche is now the power plays on for Winnipeg Jets. And as for the win, we'll put up for Morrissey. He's beyond. Now find Eller. Shot! Love saved by Georgia. Georgia is going to hold that whistle here with only 18, 40, 34 to go. If you're looking towards the NBA, we have a next matchup for you. Pacers and the Cavaliers are returning back again in Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse for later tonight and then for later afternoon of the game. We have the Magic and the Knicks back at Kia Center. Then with the next part of the game is the Mavericks and the Clippers at Crypto.com Arena. And then later tonight at 10.30, we start things over again as we find another look of a new situation. 9.30 p.m., the Wolves against the Suns at Target Center. Found me all the games only on Son of Beast on the other side of the NBA postseason. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and we'd like to thank you all for supporting. We couldn't appreciate with all your accomplishment to get to a thousand subscribers. Keep on reaching. This was deflected off the skate and Monahan gives a get back to again to Velarde. Here's a look. Cabaranta with the puck. 
And he went outside. A lot of time left in this period. No score in a game between the Winnipeg Jets and Colorado Avalanche. As McCarr wins the faceoff. Dropping it back down right toward the other side of the slot. Finds a pass. Trying to look for some more room here, and this one stayed out of the zone. He's now over again. Trying to find a pass. Here's Connor. Over again. With the shot. Oh, to Yorgiev. Unbelievable diving moment. Oh, that's what they happens now because that is really what happens now. That is unbelievable. And I don't know how you can handle that one. A big take. But that diving releasement is really like what they showed it. That is unbelievable. What you take, it's just a hard one that you've got to get through it. Now the chance, and this one is knocked out. Here's a look on the other side. Chuck blocked. And the shot, this one staked out. Trying to look for some open more room in the slot. And Colorado will clear the puck out of here. Time's ready to get by. Right, he's right to fire. And Giorgio will save the day. This moment, 16.43 left to go in the first period. Still, no score to Gates. And now with the puck ready to take the face off, the win for Winnipeg. Now it's back the air away over into Winnipeg. Still has a lot of room. And Giorgio tries to hold it back. Well, they really are working it in right now. That's what they are doing. That full is going to take a lot of time right now for Winnipeg Jets. But now this is what they already done. They've been playing it so hard. Trying to let that one get in there because this is the pass off that they can't let that one get in there. Every time they have it, they've got to reach it out of control. They have to make sure they have to keep it passing in there at the right certain amount of time. And it's stopped made by Hellebuck. Clearing a buck out as Morrissey and now Connor will have it again to Ellers. Ellers right into the two on one pass break. Towards the middle, what will he do? The driver finds Morrissey, shot! Pull the rebound in! What a save by Georgiev! On a shot, it's off the skater and he goes back again to McKinnon. Here's a chance for Logan O'Connor. Over the scores! Assistant captain starts off a one lucky lead for Colorado. That's what takes it. Avalanche start things off for McKinnon after Connor. Great look. You know, I really like that. When this one really turned to be in there, that is a great look at it in the offense. So, after giving off the pass over by McKinnon, he's very right for the middle. He said, over here, he made this one a great pass. What a great play. Start one puts it in for the Avalanche. It's a one nothing lead over Winnipeg. And now with the win, here's Morrissey. Morrissey right towards the wing. He goes bullshit down into it. Crash site. By Rand trying to give up again to Rantanen. Rantanen tries to look it over in towards the center. Loses the puck as Lamella will try to have it off. Back to Morrissey again to Ellers. Ellers on the full breakaway chain. Shot. Big stop by Jurian. McKenna now finds Lekunen. Lekunen gets crashed up again, and now it's Scheifele. Back to DeMello. DeMello trying to work his way across. And pass broken up as McKenna will have it. Under 14.30 to go in the first period. Finds Rantanen. Shoots one. Save off by Hellebuck. Velarde has it over, now finding Connor. Connor right towards the center. He took a big hit, and it went wide. Well, that was what they did. They really expected that it was a hit or nothing. And Shifeli went down. Yeah, uh-huh. I knew this was going like, to take over, but that is nowhere you're looking at. That defending offense can't let that happen. And Ellibuck makes a save. Dylan back to Carter. And he will lift it up into the zone. In the Avs territory, as Johnson will have it. The Avalanche are back into the offense, as Johnson finds by Ram. And Perwis with the puck. Right towards the center, he finds a little bit more room. On a gap, this save here by Hellebuck. Dylan back the air away. 
Dillon tries to make his way through again. The Dryer shots wide. Now with the rebound, he tries to give it to the Dryer. This one is off the Stender. And Dryer to Lowry shot. Big stop on the chain by Georgiev. Maurice finding its way down in the other side in the Jets territory. Maurice shot to the right here. In a big collision, contentional run. Appleton trying to give over to Toes, but this is taking over as Dronin has it. Jordan can't hold on with the puck as the Dryder has it. In back to Pion. Pion lifts it up in the zone. McCarr's got it now. Colorado back in the zone, trying to give over again a deep pass over. And Pion's got it now, finding Dillon. Dillon towards the center. Oh, big kick. McCarr back to O'Connor. O'Connor fires the puck around the net. Dillon battling for the loose puck. Kicks the puck out of here and now finds the dryer. The dryer back to Ayafalo. Ayafalo in into the wing. Try! Club save by Jorgiev. And Cohen battling for the loose puck. Back again to the Jets. Here's Ellers. Moves around. Big deny shot run. They're really expecting when it was going to happen, but that's what Cohen was really doing. It. It's not when you take a chance in there. That is a big play ball on their sub of the target. This is really like a hard play, and they're, they're really starting to like show the appearance in between. They never really liked the Jets, but the Avalanche are trying to say, we had enough. We can't let that one get into it, and we've got to fight back in this game. This is our moment, guys. We've got to do it for real. Schmidt back again to Ellers. Ellers finds high follow. On the blockchain, McCarr give it back to Cabrante. Fagliano with the puck. What a shot! Big save by Hellebuck. Connor's got the puck back. Open look, and Madison will have it over. Back to Cabrante. Past the midway mark of the period. Lifts it into the jet zone. Now Sam Berkman and Winnipeg has got them more room, finding again to Shai Belly. Schmitz over back to Villardi. And trying to find Connor. Shot! Big got a stop and bound by Jurgen. Takes a shot. Gerard. Give it back to Ferrante. Again to Cogliano. 9 30 left to remain in the first period. Shai Belly with the puck, trying to look for some open room in the offense. And over with a look, McKenna takes the puck seal. Back to Lekunen. Lekunen. Over to McKinnon. Oh, big save here on a play. And Elephant's going to hold him with only nine minutes remaining in the first. This was a lot of hard takeover right now. I mean, just go for the goal. Don't take it too much of it. How about this one of the dial in on his own? His better technician is really taking a lot of hard skills in between. Nathan McKinnon is really like an all good takeover. The unstoppable force is bringing it into a harder attention and he's putting up a strong effort. He's finding another room there, guys. I'll find out if Connor Nova gets another dialed in or McKinnon. Take over in. Back to you. As we have a look in between, the head coach for the Colorado Avalanche is Jared Bednar. Bednar was definitely a Canadian professional ice hockey coach and a formal player. He's definitely one of the better on this play. He has done it first. A lot of it's intentional in this work. He's definitely wanted to get some outlets here done. But that didn't really change the appearance. Well, you expect now because that's what they did. He scores! Blankenet on the two reach. You saw what happened now. Blankenet just really made this one in there. That save is pretty good. That tape to tape blank rate for Blankenet has pulled it up to Lankwinen, and that goal just had it in there. That was a little bit of a wraparound change. That is unbelievable. And now, you got that off. 834 left to go. Just the 2 0 -end range, as now Morrissey will have that puck. And as you're talking about Jared Bendar, will he have a chance to have another counter contract for the NHL coach? Well, I, I guess I would, actually. I mean, I think he's going to you know, get in there for sure. We pass the midway mark of the period. Avalanche are to start. 2-0 game. And a win puts in for DeMello. 
Haas is broken up as O'Connor will have it. Takes a white. Now finds DeMello. DeMello making his way down, right toward the wing. Passing the puck over. Here's O'Connor trying to race it in. He finds Colton again to Wood. Wood. Which is his rain down. Shoots. Big on a save inbound. Appleton with the puck now fighting over in the other side of the slot. Under eight minutes. Appleton. By Ray with the puck. Now finds Wood. Takes a big hit. Oh, that slammed it in from the corner. Jamorrissey now has it again. There's a big coach off chain. Scheifele with the puck. Over now. Lordy! Oh, that went up in the net. And it's out of play. We'll have a stop whistle inbound. After some big saves here earlier, as Yuri is trying to hold on to it, it's still a 2 0 lead. Here's Strowman. He will have that puck here with only seven minutes going by. Nearing by the end of it, he will dump the puck out of here. And Dylan will have it over. The offense is picking up clearly. He finds Shai Philly. Oh, hello moment out there by Johnson. You know, that's a big hit when you just haven't expecting to see that. That's a collision course that's letting this one go in. That is a big hit. He scores. Jets are on the board as now it's Mike Sharpelli with a, an alternate captain with his first goal against the Jet, against the Avalanche. All what it says now, Mark Sharpelli just made that one good pass over. And this one really has to take the over with a long press effort. This one's really turning it in and he finally has it all. Now with the answer. Avalanche still has it up in the lead, but it's a 2-1 game. Now for the win for the Winnipeg Jets is now it's Connor. He will have that puck. Trying to make his way down toward the other side of the angle. This one's way off the mark. Now he passes again to Pionk. Pionk making his way through. On Connor's shot, big save here by Guard Jorgen. Now he's off to Rantanen. Rantanen. Can't find an open look as Connor will have it. Takes a big punch here. McKinnon shoots way off the mark and it's deflected off the skate of the stick and Connor trying to battle it out. Scheifele with the puck, trying to make his way through, now finds Bianc. Bianc on his way, looking for some more help on the offensive side as Ranton will have it. The offense picking up steam, Ranton in! Can't let that happen in there. I follow with the puck. Now here's Bianc. 5.20 left to remain in the first period as he fires it out. McCarr has got that puck. Tries to get it over. Oh, that's a big hit to try to put a revenge on. And Gregorante with the puck. Work his way across. On the other shot. Big save on the inbounds for Hellebuck. Monaghan. Right over into the left wing. Now on the right wing. Gives off to Ellers. On his way down. This one's not for the shot. In the middle, good pumped up play as now Cogliano will have it. It's racing in between. You know the offense is really not even just like making it sure it is. But that is what they all let them see. Let them do because this is what they all definitely play in their offensive skills. The right timing is just not for anybody's idea, but this one keeps it in there for a good timing effort. Cogliano fires the puck around the net. And now Morrissey will have it over with four minutes going by in the first period. Trying to ruffle his way down. Off to the driver. The save. Oh, Giorgio makes a stop. 3.50 left to remain in the first period. Still a 2-1 game avalanche. Now we expect it already. And now, guess who's retiring from the head coach? Not this one. But for the, but for the announcer, for the, for the American announcer for the Blue Jackets, Jeff Reimer. He's been retired already, and now he's definitely serving the honors for the, uh, for the announcer from the Columbus, or the Blue Jackets team. Well, I'm expecting now, I mean, this is all the lifelong it is now. That's Jeff Bremer. He has to definitely retire now. I mean, he's actually been doing really well. 72 years old. That is pretty, like, unrealistic. I, I would say that's like a long, legendary history of the making. I've always had to say right now, I mean, that's what he does. I mean, wait to have him back. And for retiree and for a new world replacement. Now Morrissey will have the puck. 
250 left for me as the Ryder has it over. The offense keeping it going. It's nine finds Lowry. Big stop and down by Fiorgiev. Appleton now finds Lowry. Lost that puck and now it gives again. Fires it deep. Big new rebound in. It's a big stop by Fiorgiev. Oh, that was a big save on there. They were really expecting that. This one was coming down here fast. What a take. Now the pass. Morrissey with the puck steal. Up and over the net. Right around. And Gerard trying to puck it out. Here's Schroelin. He has it over. Now across to find another look at the offense. Towards the center gap. Pat saved by Connor Hellebuck. Shy Felly back the airway. Now looking for his offensive time. On the tackle. Right to Connor. Big save by Jurier. They love that one. I, I was really making sure that this is really like hard teams. They're never going to let that respond again. They really want to like take him down for good. So Hanson lost the puck at that time. And now it goes right over again to the Jets. Here's the take. Pass is broken up as Toes gets to Johansson in the Jets' territory. One minute remaining in the first period, still 2-1 game, and now he breaks a boom. Oh, that hits him off the corner in it, and it blocked the shot by Schmidt. Here's Schmidt. Now finds Connor. Shot! Stop here by Jurgen. McCarr's got it now. Trying to work his way across. McCarr finds Paris. Reese right in towards the, the left of the wing from the far right. Now it's McKinnon with the puck. Behind is Ranzanen. Ranzanen trying to battle it for the puck free. McKinnon over the toe shot and off the side of that of the goaltender. Smith back to Ellers. Five seconds to go. Ellers. Will he get a buzz meter? That's it. And that stops again by Georgiev. Great goal for two of the Avalanche, but one goal for the Jets. We'll be right back with you shortly after this. Second period coming up after the break. Welcome back to the Bowl Arena as we're ready to start the second period. One half is behind. One period down, two to go. As I send it over to Lightbolt, let's have your thoughts about how they did for Avalanche and Jets. Well, they were really expecting right now. I mean, they were really like all to a fresh swaying in the pressure range. They were really making this one a lot harder, but it says ever playing this for a hard one, it's just a great amount to have a lot of time. But that's what they always would really been doing is for money ever games. They're making this one a lot of traditional hard ones on the course. That's what you always can definitely tell if that was a hard one that they're picking up. Hopefully there might be another way they can try to save it all. Save here. Hellaba. Three times in a row. This one stops up. Under 1930. With a minute and 30 to go. Passing by. Now they're ready to do some face-off. 2-1 to score for Avalanche. The Avs wins the face-off. And the shot. Rebound is knocked away. Mullardi trying to handle it over. Here's McKinnon. Off the game. He scores. Just 47 seconds, and I was really seeing it right away. That was a great pass and great shot, Terry Dunn. That one trying to reach it in there, that's how you do. Settle down, let him in, make it work. Avalanche on a great run start in the 3 1 game over Winnipeg. And the win for Sean Kelly. Here's another take for Willardi. Willardi finds a pass to Connor shot. Big save on Georgiev. And here's McKinnon with just down under 19 minutes. Tries to find Ranton and shoots it. A scores. That's two goals in the game for Mika Ranton. Another playoff of a battle. Now it's 10 4 1. Now here's what the problem is. That puck is like flying over. He's trying to get that puck out of here, but it's too late now. Guess what happens? Miko Renton just made that two goals, and that is a put of coming straight. He had that one really well. Putting up a lot of savings in bounds. Uh, looks like 
I'm going to get that one finished and get it all caught off down. Now Moritz Steve with the puck. Trying to make his way down towards the wing. Looks for a pass. I fell a shot. Jorgen makes a stop. 18.34 left to go in the second period. Look like they're wanting to get back into work. The Jets still haven't got the goals yet. Only one had made. And the Avalanche will win the faceoff, as now O'Connor will have it. Towards the middle and slot. O'Connor! Oh, that's redirected! And if I can stop here, my hello. DeMello back to Mordehan. Over now to Morrissey. Morrissey trying to make his way across. Stops it out. Toes with the puck. Now finds McCoy. Colton right toward the right wing. Looking his way across. Here's Wood. Oh, the pump back down has been knocking out as Monahan has that puck recovery. On his way down, he's like, follow, save you, but not this time. He makes the goal. That's what you can call it, the goaltender. He was really able to get that. He was going to try to catch it, but the problem had to turn to BS. He tried to catch it with the glove. He tried to attempt it, but it was whipped up in the air. And then it just went over right behind it, and it was near it. He didn't stop that pad. I mean, that was a little too late. That that, looked, that had to be an error for Alexander Georgi. If he didn't really get that one in there, that was a little bit of a problem. The Avalanche cut their digit down by two, and it's now a 4-2 game in Ball Arena. Now they're ready to get this thing underway. SP on has it. Slides across, now finds O'Connor. Oh, a shot! The save by Georgi. So we'll hold the puck here and just get ready to get back in the line. And they're ready to do this one again. In between the abs and the Jets. 4-2. Now the win for the Jets. Fire it. Big save here on the back. Connor trying to kill it out. Here's Velarde. And his shot goes in. Big save by Juliet. Juwan trying to hold it on. Gets the puck away, now finding Rantanen. Rantanen off to Gerard. Gerard went down. Lardy has that puck in with under 17 minutes. Now he's off to Scheifele. Over down to Dillon. And pass broken up by Manson. Over now on the other side of the wing is Rantanen. The Avalanche making their entrance in the zone. Finding over McKinnon! Oh man, what a great stop by Hellebuck. And now it's Scheifele with the puck, now find Millardi. There's really a quick reaction to it. That's what happened here for Hellebuck. He's just making it in there at the same time. They're really making this one a lot harder. That challenging is really improving and a better place to go with for Connor Hellebuck's chance. That's a quick reaction. He's really trying to get in there. Try to give a go moment. Don't let him go over there and try to look at it. Because that is going to take over on timing. Georgia holds a puck here with only 15.43 left to go in the second period. And now they're ready to do it again. Avalanche still have a little great possession here. Better favorite team, 4-2. And Toes will have it here. Now finds off to Dronin. Dronin with the puck. Takes a shot. Big save here by Hellebuck. Diagonally out, and I follow will leave it out. Now he's over again. Here's a shot. Oh, big hit. And Georgia makes a save. Well, then there's the collision right now. That's what's going to problem because the mess of them, they didn't really like that call. They wanted to watch out with the relentless going. That's a big on the attack they're like getting released. And now for the way, here's Gamella. The amount of shoots, big step on us the chain by Georgia. And Toes will have it over on the other side. Over now to McCall. McCall shoots, big save by Bay Hello. I follow back again to Morrissey. Morrissey gives again to DeMello. DeMello trying to work his way across. Bad save! Another one makes it in! McCall gives again back to Dronin. Dronin blocks a shot, 
And DeMello will have it here. Off again to Lowry. Lowry in the center. Oh, that's a big save on the inbound by Georgiev. And Cullen with the buck now finds Wood. Two on one opportunity. Schmidt takes that buck release, Schmidt. Tries to roll around the back, now finds Amber. Sandberg again to Appleton. Appleton flings the puck up in the air and right behind the net. Here's by Ram. He will have his chance. Off again the pass to Colton. And there's a broken glass over here in the center ice. Ouch! Oh, boy. Oh, wow. I think that hit must have been a hurtful. They're going to have to pay for this again. Maybe that's a Winnipeg Jets problem. They're crashing that one in there. That is, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, man. Women Jets will have to be sorry for that one here. No, oh, no, no, no. If they would do that, I would expect them to see this one here. They would have to be flopping over again. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. I would definitely would never like to hear that one again. Oh, oh man. That's our one that they all have to go with. But Lori's in the penalty box with a slashing call. And now it's a chance for Colorado to get back in the three-point lead. With a slash call, it's now Avalanche power play. There's only 13-18 to go in a second. Now for the win, here's McCarr. Shoots one, big save. McKenna now finds McCarr. A moment stop. Hellebuck will try to hold it in with only 13.09 to go. Lots of time left in this period. The abs are up by two. And the win puts it in. Dylan back to Appleton. Now he will have his more time right into the end side of the zone. Big stop by Jurgen. Under 13 minutes remaining in the second period. And now McKinnon will have it. Takes a big pinch. Appleton. Look his way across. Big save on the inbound. For Jurgen and now McKinnon back to Jurgensen. McKinnon finds a deep pass to Gerard. Jared with the puck. Swings it across. Good save on the inbound by Hillebutt. Jokansen's got the puck back into the Jets' territory. Fires it. Big save here by Hillebutt. Namsikov now takes his own looking for an open space room. For a short ending. Oh, he made a save by Giorgiev. That was really like a close one call. They never seen why it goes in there, but now you can definitely feel like that this is a hard and bound. I've never seen anybody that does this. McKinnon! Glove saved by Hellebuck. He will opt for the whistle here with under 12 minutes. It's still a 4-2 game with a still power play advantage continuing. For right now, Miko Rantanen has a snipe on his set of ability. He made this one an all great look of his ability to have that one sniping in if he has that one with his more room and technique with better offensive skills. I'll find out if the another power play will put in for Miko Rantanen. I ran find Jordan. Jordan shoot! Big save by Villava. He has 10 seconds left to go, but he's ready to get back on ice. Now finally to get in the mellow. Almost went to dead. That ends the power play for the Colorado Avalanche. It's 0-1 for the Colorado Power Play. Now, they were really expecting that one there. This is really what they all do. They're trying to let that one go in there. They never seem to care about it for most of the reasons. I know that was going to be a little bit difficult for them, but now you just really feel like that this was a tougher team that they had to require at that point. Never going to let that one slow down, and never going to let that one go right back to it. you got to make sure you have it right in there. Wow, right off the goalposts. Unbelievable. Here's Rantanen, and the big save here, comes up by the goaltender. Fouling for the loose puck of the chain by the boards. The recover puts up for Colorado. Wow, big block here by Monohan and her team. And Connor takes the puck back. And Sandberg will have it here. Way back, back in the airway, now finding an open room. Long save by Georgia. Excellent effort with passing the midway mark of the period. 
Now, I must say that Georgiev was able to get that glove saved. That was pretty excellent. That execution there, that must have been in there for a one-time effort. That gloving is just put in there, but there's a hard defender coming up nearby. He tries to put a stop. That's a little bit of hard aggressive out there. Near the midway mark, and now passes the midway mark in the period. 4 2 still the score in a second. Cavallo trying to fuck it in there, but Manson tries to deny that shot. And he's over on the other side. Buck leaves his own. Morrissey will now have it over again to Ellers. Ellers battle for the loose puck in the chain. He now has it over again to Manson. Manson gets again to Colton. Colton to the right wing. DeMello takes it over back to Monahan. Monahan trying to race his way down. He loses the puck. Manson back again to O'Connor. O'Connor with the shot. Big save in the inbound. Two times in a row by Hellebuck. Looking to get more. Three row. Back this time he scores. William O'Connor. Bounce a goal in as Manson with the assist. Well, that just takes it over and say, can you poke it in? That's what he does definitely just fired on. Logan O'Connor just made really just a great look. But then if you try to do it again, great save, try to poke it out, and then it just speaks over the goaltender. He made that one an absolute to try to stop them and keep playing. The Avalanche are putting it back into the game and trying to get themselves back in the mood and to home for the 5 2 game in the second period. And it's another win for Winnipeg Jets. On the face off, as Morahan gives off to Eller, shoots, block, stop made by Giorgio. Manson tries to get it over. Makes his way across, and a shot, Elbert makes a save. 8.23 left to go in the second period. 5 2 is the score. Now he's off and ready to do it again. They still have a lot of plenty of times in between for the Winnipeg Jets to get back in the goal if they can. And the way we'll put up again to Mark Scheifele. Ping on to Scheifele. Now over again to Velarde. Velarde shoots. What a pass stop made by Georgia. Bogner with the puck. Over in toward the middle. Dylan with the poke reach. And taking the puck back to Velarde. Checks back in the offensive zone. Camarante with the puck. Stolen. The abs are back into the offensive zone. In the center ice back to the jet zone. Now Pionk will have it over. Finds a pass to Velarde. The abs are back into the Jets territory. Oh, the puck escapes the zone. Somebody has to go get it. Well, they're really having a little bit of a hard time now. They're, they're having a little bit of a mistake. That's what happens right now. I mean, they're not just passing it really well. They gotta make sure they have it in there to get the right moment because he misfired it. Then it's gonna be someone else's turn to go get it. Here's Lowry right into the way. Cut him down, find the driver. Pat saved here by Georgia. The driver tries to put it in. In the middle, can't find an open room. Way today, lost that puck as Appleton gives it to the driver. The driver. McCarr gets to swing down back again to Rantanen. Rantanen can't get the cut in bound. Looking to get three this time as it's stopped by the driver, and now he's trying to cut in bounds. Here's McCarr. With the puck, back the other way. Here he comes. Brandon shoots, big save on the inbound. Lepine now finding it over. McCarr, back the other way to Sandberg. Sandberg tries to get back over into the other way. Over with the shot. The driver blocks that shot. McCarr has it now. O'Connor makes his way through. With the shot, big save by Hellebuck. They were really mentioning that before. That's what they are doing is because the RDF is trying to let that happen. That goal is going to take a lot of time effort, and this one really may not be enough to get there through. 
And then we stop by, by Gior Gampin by Ram trying to get the puck back to Colton. Bowling for the chain. Now Johnson's got it again to Wood. Two on one back straight. O'Connor shoots. That was wide. I follow. Tries to get over again to Smith. And Smith trying to make his way across back to Ellis. Ellis can't hold on with the puck as Byram went down. No penalty on, on the Winnipeg Jets. Over with the shot. Oh, how creative he is! Big stop! Oh, let's stay out of the net! That's really like a crazy save by Georgia. They're expecting the avalanche are trying to pull back into it now. You can feel the energy for now for Georgia. That is a crazy enough save to have it in there. And Georgia does it again! Under four minutes, what a fan favorite! Alright, I know what you expect it now. If you want Georgia to make a save, let me hear you make some noise, fans. <laughs> just really enjoy it, that too. I mean, I like that you are with Megan Say. He's a man. Gotta give some credits out there. He, he's really enjoying it. And a final shot scores. Malari deflects it in there and now goes back down with a 5-3 score. Now that's a great deflection in there. That is a little frustration over here. That gets him out of the way for sure. But when you have that fire range of puck, you give it off to Velarde and you have that one deflected up in the air and then try to get it off across from the net. That is excellent when you're making that play ball count. That's what happens to Mark Scheifele. He tries to give it over to Velarde. That's a great goalie habit. Now the win puts in for Colorado Avalanche. So Rod finds Paris. Paris again to Johansson's shot. That's blocked up. The Mello with 3.30 to go. Now Morrissey will have it again to Kyle Connor. Kyle kind of trying to look his way through to get over to Velarde. Oh, big save, but this is too late. Two goals for Velarde. Now brings that down by one. Well, that happened to be a save already, but that timing was way off. And you just really noticing that Kyle Connor gets it over to Velarde. That one makes a save, but that rebound just put it back in there. That was no exception that they were really are expecting to see, but this goes in. Now that that back down by one, they've got to have a lot of communication in between. They've got a lot of them to try to like let them live on, and it's not really what they all expected to, because that is a hard one that they play for. And listen, he's a Canadian professional player. Got to make him committed to this one. Bali for the Colorado trying to answer it back. And here's Rantanen. On a shot for a good of McKenna. This one stopped by Mellobach. 2 3 left to go in towards the right wing to the left. Chai Feli to Malardi for three. It's often a stop made here by Jodiev. Lekkonen. Tries to give it over again to Rantanen. Rolls it in. Shoots it blocked by Morrissey. Off again to Connor. Connor finds Joy Pelly. Now Velarde has another chance to go for three. And that one stopped again by Georgiev. Now the Avalanche will have their possession here. Fire with the puck. Over now to Jordan. Blocked the shot and it's Appleton. And the card goes offside. We're here in the 92nd at the end of the second period. Five goals to score. Now you can expect it now. Let the fans hear it. Let's get it all down. And the way we'll put it up here as the Mello will have the puck. He finds Lowry. Lowry trying to head it over. And now with the puck take, here's Toes as now it's full of pass broken up. Toes for the middle. Big stop here by Hellebuck. And back to Morrissey. Rolling it now, trying to find an answer to the driver. Going to shoot it. This one takes over. We are under a minute remaining in the second period as Jokansen tries to find a little bit of room again to Paris. Trying to go in to Melodonize that one with the pass and a goal. Larry has a puck there right on the other side of it. Take a chance. Colton goes back the other way and now finding an open room. 
squeezes in front. Donut shot. Big save on the pad by Hellebuck. Now here's Lowry. Towards finding the trainer. Lock it up. Shot. Big save by Georgiev. The trainer right toward the corner. Trying to go for a tie. Oh, that's way up in the air and right to the side of the net. Of a save puts up by Georgiev. And that'll wrap it up for the second period. 5 4, close game. Two goals for Malarney. Looking to get his hat track. Be right back after this. Now it's time for the third period. Close game in the event. Now looking for a chance to have it all catch up or break the chain. And we hope you had fun with us here for the last part of it of the game five in between those two. And I've got a great chance to find out which goal can take. But first, I'll send it off to Light Bolt with a second period recap. They're really expecting that they really done really good job as the Orgiev has been in the entire save. But now this time, Pilardi made this one with two goals. If you're looking for his third goal, he will have his hat trick. It's in between a Brantanen and, of course, a Velarde. They really are expecting to find out that there's a choice in between. And Kalkana's shot went wide. You know, whatever happens for Gabe Velarde, he's definitely get played in here in Ontario, Canada. He's better at making his day. He was the drafted 11th overall by the Los Angeles Kings, and he was definitely selected in the NHL draft in 2017. And then with that one, he made his way down. He wishes he wants to return to play with the Canadian team of the night, but he doesn't really care for it. So therefore, he definitely just made his way. He wants to play with the Ottawa Senators, but now his contract debut, he finally has made his way to play with the Winnipeg Jets. They're letting him do all of his work of his better offensive the game on a better points. National team, Canada. Then it's definitely what they're expecting to say for the former team that he has done for. He's really making his way through a long period of time. He's definitely doing a lot of his playing career technique, and he's looking to have more if he gets it. Love to save by Hullabuck. Beyond back the airway with 18 minutes going by in a third. Off again to Ellers. Ellers shoots. Big save by Georgiev. Now here's Toes against. Now O'Connor will have it. This one's blocked up. Dylan tries to pull it up. Back again to Ellers. Ellers can't hold on with the puck and now finds O'Connor. O'Connor trying to make his way across. Battling for a loose puck. Ellers. Back to Manson. Toes. Over to Wood. Manson shot. Big rebound right there as nothing has remained. Back to Pionk. Good turn entry. Find Exceller. Shot. Big save by Georgia. Georgia definitely still has it all in coming down, but how does he happen? That is going to be a lot of tricky questions if he's trying to get this one in there quick. Now the win will put it in. And oh! Georgiev, a low big save, and this one goes with the back door to pour it in, and he closed it shut. That was nothing. Unbelievable. The Jets are under full pressure. Jonah trying to get the puck cleared out. Ellers now finds Dylan. Dylan to get him up. With a shot. Big save on the inbounds. Johansson with the puck. As the exit puts in for the full pressure on the Jets. Appleton now finds over to Nitrider. Nitrider cutting it down in from the slot. Takes it out as Johnson's got it now. Give it back to Johansson. Puts a spool in. Harris with the puck. And now Nitrider will have it over. Back to Bion. Again to Lowry. Larry just back to by Ram and finding Rantanen. Rantanen tries to watch out for the open look. And Paris trying to give over again to McKinnon. McKinnon giving it out of the way as Joe Johnson's got that buck. Looks his way. Shoots! Hell of a save. 
The Jets are back into the offensive zone. Now looking for more room. Here's Lowry. Pass to the trainer. Cuts in and balance. Stuffed out. Sandbrook shot. Great block under the fence effort. Appleton can't let that one open the man in. Now McKinnon gets it again to Leckernan. Leckernan right in the middle. Range in is Sandberg. Back to Villardi. Villardi up for three. Loses the puck range. Now finds Rantanen. Rantanen trying to look for his third goal of the night. McKinnon trying to get back again to Leckernan. Here's Rantanen for three. Oh, it denies that one. How the puck makes a save. That's really going to be like a hard takeover. He wants to have three. They want to let that happen. I, I just really mentioned that was a big hit. That's what Sandberg is really doing. I mean, he doesn't really like that call after all. For the Winnipeg Jets head coach, Rick Bowness is definitely appointed with his eighth head coach franchise in the history. Since July 3rd of 2022, this must have been that he all happened to be his third head coach since the club's relocation. Now they're really expecting right now to break bonus. It's just really not what he was able to let that happen go in. And I was really expecting to know that the head coaches are really letting this one go with the franchising of their own. That record might be taking over in between, but not everybody has it all. And that must happen right now because they were really expecting that they have to find another way that they can definitely try to like let him go by. I know it's really like true, but it's gonna be a lot of difficult challenging if he has it all. Now it will have another face-off coming in. Five fours to score, 13-19 to go. And with the win, Morrissey with the puck. Morrissey trying to make his way to the right way. Fires a shot. Big save here by Giorgian. Fouling for the puck chain. And here's Malardi. Then well the tie in. No! This one stopped by Giorgian. That's great enough that Jugargif is making a great save. Unless if it's something's coming, you just gotta make sure you have that one and save, but he's definitely doing great. And speaking of which one here for Jugargif, he definitely had that one with his better ice hockey goaltender, a Russian professional ice hockey team, and that was definitely played for a national team in Russia. First, there was four uh, teams that played with the New York Rangers. That was the first one that he has ever been playing with for. And then until the next contract debuted, it was his time to shine in to the Colorado Avalanche. That happens to be most of the uh, better uh, curricular ocean. You're really expecting to let that happen. But that's what happens now. He's just this, this year, he's still ready to take his time, ready to go for another one. And with the win for the Jets, now looking for DeMello again to I follow. I call it trying to have it over, but the shot blocked up. Now has it again to Ellers with 12 minutes going by in a third. Toos, back to Marcar. The car lost the puck and Ellers will have it. Shoots it, it's it denied up with the glass and back again to Ellers. Looks right foul, shoots, he's saved again by Jurgen. From the back, with the shot, oh, Jurgen! Unbelievable moment! Devin Toes lost the puck, and now he finds Ellers. On a shot, big save by Gio Yip. The abs are back in the abs defensive zone, in the jet zone. Shoots one, big save by Oliver. Johansson lost the puck, it's now Smolahan with the puck. On his way down with 11 minutes, Morrissey tries to get back to Mello. Over now to Ellers. Ellers trying to make a swing. No penalty in the game as now Lequinen will give it again to Rantanen. Rantanen finds Nathan McKinnon. Kyle Connor with the puck. Now over back to Scheifele. Scheifele with the puck. Now finds Connor. Go for back in, and a save puts up by Georgiev as it denies it. This really makes the main maintain right now. This was really going to keep it hard on this friend. I was really hoping that there would be another great a chance to put their offense to a stop. They really want that all. Really hard. 
This is whatever happens for Connor Hellebuck. He definitely played it with his part of it in the fifth round. That was selected here in the 2012 NHL draft. And his national team is with USA, the American team. But he never really wanted to return, so Winnipeg Jets definitely still have a contract with him, and they really expect of him now. His better uh, franchise player is just not always going to be really mentioning if he plays for it, for real. For Michigan, USA, and now he's drafted in with the Canadian team. He really wanted to be here, but this is not his day when he does have it all for at once. And it's stop by Georgia. Kyle Connor just did one! Oh, that's an unbelievable moment for the Georgia team! That's what they all expected right now. I mean, he's really like getting it over. I mean, what a good stop. And it's stopped by Hellebuck with the glove save with 9.03 to go. Expecting to find another one with the goal. Now back here away, they're ready to have another face off. And the win puts in for Smith. Schmidt finds the driver. Under nine minutes remaining in the third period, and there's Appleton shot. Big save on the inbound by Georgia. Fires it. Trying to put a rebound. It's directed. Redirected to Larry. It's off of the skater. Mans it back to Colton. Colton making his way through. Over now. Finding open room. On the rebound. Hellebuck denies two in a row. Colton trying to foul in for the loose puck in the chain. Now Manson has it in. To shoot for rebound, and this one's taken out. That one gets punched in, and right by the glass, and now it's rebounded by Smith. With under eight minutes, here's another one for the driver. Backing inbound, lost a puck as Manson will have it. Give again to Colin. Colin making his way through. Sandberg finds a pass back to Ellers. Ellers gets again to mode on. Now find O'Connor. O'Connor back again to McCarr. But Reese with the puck. Spins around. Now finds it over again to Toes. No penalty called on Winnipeg. Sandberg trying to give over it with the shot. Oh, Giorgio loves that one. Takes a big save. Stopping the puck with 7 7 to go. They really expected it because they were really are making this one a lot harder. All right, I'll send it over to Fan. Let's see who takes it. Well, I think Cal McCarr did really well. I just had a lot of range was feeling with this one point. He definitely did talk to one of his interviewers. He really had this one a great timing. I love how his angle, he's just really doing great. The better chances is that McCarr might be ducking it again. And hopefully by that time, it will happen. Now others will have it to Monahan. He just lost that puck as Johansson will have it. A chance now. Backhand stopped by Hellebuck. That's really what they were expecting here because if Hellebuck was catching in with the bigger save, he's trying to let that one go in right now. He's just making a glove catch. That big off moment is just really turning gray. Now with the win. The car shot locked up. Jordan gives the toes. Toes back to McCarr. That's way off the mark and it goes right behind the blue line in front of a center ice and with only 6.15 left to go. Rolls over to Maurice and now he finds McCarr again to Johansson. Oh, that big hit. Now find Malardi again to Connor. Connor decided to tie it up. On a shot. That one's going to get carried over here by Georgia. He will hold the freeze the puck here with 5.45 left to go in the third period. If you're expecting to watch the next game, we've got Game 6 coming underway as the Lightning take on against the Rangers at a Molly Arena. That will be the first game in Game 6. Following along with the next game as we have the Canucks facing against the Kings at 9.30 p.m. That will be a couple games for NHL and then the next two will be in between if necessary for the Colorado Avalanche against the Jets for Game 6. We'll have that one under here, here shortly. Probably just a couple more, couple days before we get into the year. And definitely that occasionally, the last part of the game will be the Golden Knights facing against the Oilers against these teams. And we'll find out who will take the win to face the Evers. 
This will be all for the next part of the game, only on Sun of East. I'll be happy to hear in Vegas. As Yuryev stops it, we are under five minutes right now in the third. And get ready, they're heading back in for another look of a change. If you're ready for this event, the BFDI and Emmy Insanity Experience Show is coming back. Hope you're ready for a trip, because this is where it starts things off. Yeah, I know. I hope you all fans are ready to enjoy this. This is going to be a fun night, so you don't want to miss that one out. If you got your tickets already, I mean, that's great. Hope you have fun with the show. The Trader! Catch Glove Saved by Jorgiev. Fans still loving it. Toward the right way, that's not going to not have it. Saved off by Hellebuck. DeMello gives out to Morrissey. Here's Appleton now finds again to Lowry. Lowry. Behind the back. Appleton. Shoots. And not enough to put a rebound here as Wood will have it. Trying to get the fuck out of here. Colorado back in the offensive zone with 3.40 to go. Wood. He went down. No tripping on the call. DeMello trying to kick it out. Wood. Fires a shot. Not enough to get a deflection in there as Hellebuck tries to hold on. 3.21 left to go in the third period. We're nearing down the three minute mark in the final minute. Now the face off win will put in for Monohan and Stamello will have it. Here's Eiffel. Alex. Moves it in. A car back to Colton. We approach the final three minutes in the third period in regulation. Off to Wood. Down the puck is still in by Dylan. Over now, finding a pass again. Here's I follow. Shoots one. Big clutch save by Giorgiev. He will offer the whistle and ready for the faceoff. Now they're ready to do this one again. 5-4 to score. Looking for a man advantage for the Jets. As they put up a win. And no penalty. Oh, yep, they do. They definitely caught it that time. This will be a chance for a tie game if Lekkonen is in the penalty box. And they'll have to see what they can do. Yeah, I was looking over and now that Lekkonen was really falling down. And he just slid underneath right over here. Watch what happened. You see what happened to him? That Pionk was pretty good there. They've gotten that trapped. And that's what's captured already, and this is not really turning out to be that great. Shai Feli with the puck, and here comes Pionk on a shot. Ace one stopped. Gerard will try to fire it out. 2 3 left to go in the third period. For Fetty trying to go for an answer. No. Jurgia takes a save, and GR, Gerard up and cleared out of the zone. Now the Winnipeg Jets are still have a man advantage on. Shai Feli with the puck, now finding an open open look. On a shooting range, left save by Jorgiev. We're under two minutes remaining in the third period, trying to have an answer back if there is one. Because they're looking for a stars as they are facing against the winning team. We'll have to find out who will be if they get a win or not. And they will have to advance to game number six. That means it's necessary. Makar will swing it out. Now Morrissey back to the Dryer. The Dryer now finds Ellers. Ellers across the way. Shoots and gloves saved by Giorgiev. Gavarante finding a Makar and now find Wagner. Wagner fires it out. And here's Morrissey. Gets to the Dryer. Now finds Ellers. Ellers shoots. This one blocked up. Up and high in the air, and Ellis will have it. Connor. Right toward Morrissey. Shoots one! Almost tipped it in, but Giorgio makes a great wild save in his night. We are almost out of time now, but this one is coming down to the one minute mark. Now Shaikeli wins the face off of Lardy for three. Morrissey shot blocked. Dumping the puck out of here. 
and Morrissey. That's like a cross now back to Kyle Connor. Man advantage is coming in for the Winnipeg Jets as they have an extra skater on as the power play comes to an end. The puck leaves his own. Fans still loving it. Velarde with the puck. Poked it out. In the corner. Shoots! Big stop at a chain and Georgia makes a save. And here's another shot. Another big save. Last chance. Will they have it? Shoots one. Rebound. On glove save by Georgia. Just nine seconds left. Fans, if you're on your feet, this is a wild one in Mile High, but what do you think about Mile High cake? <laughs> I don't know. I would say we would love to win it. And there it is. You can all have some a little bit of a Mile High cake. I think you're all loving it too. And he will finish it. The car wins the game as they are up again and they're still alive. Yellow car and heat seeker just made this one a fire out of range, and this is how you can end that off in game five. Because they're still not done yet. They're looking for game six if they can get there first. And that about wraps it up, folks. Six to four is your final score. The Avalanche are appointed back in the game in the win in my own mind. They are not leaving, and they are putting it back in. What an excellent way to finish off this game and get some ally cake, no problem. And we also salute the fans for sure. We enjoyed it too. Yes, I really enjoyed that one here too. I mean, it's, it's great. Have a lot of fun, courtesy takes. And that's going to wrap it up, folks. Terry Crews along with Lightbolt and Fan, this has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs. Thanks for joining with us and have a great night. Adios. All right, thank you so much. Time for three-star players to begin. Nathan McKinnon with a goal, two assists, and five hits. He only does this way with his uh, timing effort. Then, the second star goes to Miko Brenton in with two goals, assists, and five hits. Only just made it for once. Took a big tumble down. And your number one star player, Alexander Giorgio with 89 saves. He just had that one finishing right in time. And that's totally what I was expecting this one. It's a great way. To finish it off for sure, and that is how you can finish this one great. Here's how you do with the total statistics 93 and 66 for the Winnipeg Jets for total shots on goal, and it was 63 over 58 for Winnipeg, 728 over 509 for Winnipeg, and it was 89% over 88 for Colorado, and 36 over 21 for the Winnipeg faceoff wins. Four minute penalty kill was Colorado over two minute penalty kill for Winnipeg. And no goals was made, and this was silent down. So that is it for right now. I mean, hope you all enjoyed it. Yeah, especially to, I really have to mention myself, this was a great game at all. Expecting this would be a fun of a great matchup. Why not? So that is definitely it. I hope you all enjoyed it, and we'll stick you around for a final two of each games in Game 6, and if there's Game 7 necessary, we'll have you covered here on the other side of it soon. Until then, peace out folks for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on the NA Sports Style. This is me, Phone, and Wood Silver Spoon. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye bye for now, and good night for Mile High. Who should I say? A Mile High Pie. <laughs> Alright. I guess I can have a mile high pie too. Why not? Should be a great one to take. You know it. See ya. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.